Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Kente Johannes with Because It Was Necessary. I pray that everyone is having a great morning. I am grateful this morning. I am so grateful this morning. Um, you guys, I just started to reflect back on my life, um, especially this one particular time where I had went to Compton. I was around 16 years old and I was in the foster system, but I had went to Compton just for um, to visit my grandfather. It was on a weekend and one of my friends decided she wanted to come with me. So my grandfather allowed her to come, um, him and his wife. And once we got out there, you know, it was people, you know, L.A. people congregating in the streets. So we were having a good time, you know, talking to people. And we decided we were going to walk to Lou's Liquor Store. Everybody knows about that store. It's on um, Wilmington and 134th. But um, it was, yeah, I think it was 134th. But anyways, um, while we were walking to the store, some girls, you know, had seen us. And they kind of knew that we weren't from Compton, you know, but we were. And, um... Um, they they just kind of didn't I guess just did wanted to have some type of beef or whatever So we went to this we got to the store, you know One of the girls she kind of stepped in the middle of the sidewalk as if to say you weren't you know You can't come through here or whatever, but we did and so on our way back to my grandfather's house after we got our stuff from the store You know, it was we started hanging out with the kids that were out and other teenagers that were out in front of his house and stuff like that and talking and just eating our candy and listening to music and things and next thing you know once the Sun went down these girls, I guess they sent their friends over there and then they came and all of a sudden they started letting off on us, meaning they started shooting at us. A bullet went past, I felt the heat of the bullet go past my ear. And I am just so grateful to God on today because the adversary has tried and tried and tried again to take me out of here, to take my life. And I wanna tell you guys, when the adversary is trying to come at you in every facet of your life, in every way of your life, you know, know that there's purpose, know that there's greatness in you, know that there's a ministry in you that can't nobody take away from you. I don't care what the adversary throws at you. As long as you're here on today, as long as you can breathe on today, as long as you can speak on today, know that God has had you the whole time and there's purpose in you. There's promises that he's promised you. God was protecting me even before salvation. I was shot at before I was saved. I had guns put to my head before I was saved. I had um, a sort of shotgun put to my head before I was saved. So if the enemy is fighting that hard to take you or to take me out of here, know that God has something even greater down on the Yabashe Kodobosika on the inside of you that he's trying to get out of you. So know that whatever the devil, the Bible tells us the weapon might be formed but it shall not prosper so therefore no weapon formed against you shall prosper there was a time where a guy put a gun to me and out me being how i used to i would fight a dog i would fight a bear i hit the gun out of the man's hand like hit his hand to the side the gun could have went off the gun supposedly had a hairline trigger i learned about that later but that could have took me out you guys he had the gun at my side but God allowed me to hit the gun out the way and he allowed the gun not to go off. I'm sitting there eating some food. There was a sawed off shotgun put to my head. The man said, if you move, I will blow your head off. God said, not so. But I thank and I praise God on this morning that everything that I have been through it's for my testimony. It's for you. It's for whoever you know that has been. I mean, when I say the adversary was trying to do something, he is a liar because the blood of Jesus has always protected me. The spirit of God has been encamped around me and encamped around you. This was prior to salvation. There was purpose through all of my pain. There was purpose through all of my struggles. There was purpose. There was purpose, lots of purpose in my past. And now, the adversary will try to say, oh, don't know, you know, no, you don't want to give your tell. You don't want to tell everybody that. But I went through it. So I'm telling it. It's all in the book, you guys. From molestation, homelessness, being a gangbanger, selling dope, you name it. A lot of it's been done through this individual, Kenta Yohannes. So I'm just grateful. Y'all just don't know. I'm, yeah, I'm both shaking. I'm grateful to God. I'm grateful to God on today, you guys. I'm so grateful to him on today because of all the many blessings, all the hills and the valleys. I'm grateful. Lord, I'm grateful. I'm so grateful to him. So you guys continue to pray for me. And uh, it's Kente Johannes with Because It's Necessary. And know that God has 
purpose for all of your pain and all of your struggles and you're gonna be all right all right so again it's kente johannes with because it's necessary please remember to like share and subscribe to my channel and um keep me in your prayers god bless you guys and i'm out